the Supreme Court decision of 24 May 2019. You may recall that the Commission issued the timetable and schedule of activities for the 2019 general elections on 9th February 2018. This stipulated time and the Commission duly informed the party that it would not be in a position to present candidates for elections in the state. Subsequently, various interested parties, including the APC itself, approached the court over the decision of the commission. Just before the election, the subsistence court judgment at the time ordered the commission to include the APC on the ballot for the governorship National Assembly and State Assembly elections, which the Commission complied with. However, since the elections were completed, a Court of Appeal judgment and now a Supreme Court judgment have determined that the APC did not conduct valid primaries for the election in question. In his judgment delivered on the 24th May 2019, the Supreme Court, having determined that the APC did not conduct valid primaries, said that the votes cast for the party in all the elections in question were wasted and ordered the Commission to recognize the runners up as the winners. This judgment affect the positions of governor and deputy governor, the three senatorial, seven federal, and 24 state assembly constituencies. Following the judgment of the Supreme Court, the commission has met in two emergency sessions and took briefings from our lawyers and staff on the implementation of the Supreme Court judgment. While the legislative elections, senatorial, House of Representatives, and State Assembly elections are straightforward to deal with because they entail fast past the post or simple majority of votes. The governorship election is determined not just by majority votes, but also spread in accordance with section 179, subsection 2, of the 1999 Constitution as amended. This means that we have to first discount the votes cast for the APC at the elections and then carefully revoke the spread by local government areas based on the new valued votes. In compliance with the Supreme Court judgment, the Commission has now determined the winners of the elections is a per state as follows. Governorship. Governor. Bello Mohammed Matawane, PDP. Deputy Governor. Mahadi Ali Ubusaw, PDP. Senatorial. Zamburanov. Alhaji Yabu Sahadi, PDP. Zambara Central, Mohammed Hassan, PDP. Zambara West, Lawali Hassan Anka, PDP. House of Representatives, Kaura Namoda, Brini Magaji, Federal Constituency. Usman Sani Dangalagima, PDP. Shinkafi Zuni, Federal Constituency. Bello Hassan Shinkafi. PDP. Busau Shahi Kabiro Amadu, PDP. Gungudu Maru, Federal Constituency, Kabiro Amadu, PDP. Anka Salatu Mafara, Kabiro Yahaya, PDP. Wakura Maradu, Ahmed Mohammed Wakura, PDP. Gumi Bukwin, Suleiman Abubakar Gumi, PDP. State House of Assembly, Kaurana Moda North, Jaharadin Saga, PDP. Kaurana Moda South, Anas Sertumpada, 
Pili Mwenye Magaji Nuran Ahiru Pili Pili Zuli East Salihu Usman Zuli Pili Pili Zuli West Nasir Muazu Pili Pili Shinkafi Muhammad G. Ahmed Pili Pili Shahe East Musa Bawa Musa Pili Pili Sahe West Aliru Nama Yukura Pili Pili Usoi East Ibrahim Muhammad Pili Pili Usoi West Shaki Ujama Pili Pili Bungulu East Kabiru Magaji Pili Pili Bungulu West Nasiru Bello Lawa Pili Pili Maru North Yusuf Al-Hassan Muhammad Pili Pili Maru South Kabiru Hashimu National Rescue Movement NRM Anka Yusuf Muhammad Pili Pili Talatul Makura North Shamsuddin Hassan Pili Pili Talatul Makura South Aminu Yusuf Jangiele Pili Pili Bakura Tukru Jakada Brilliant Tukru Pili Pili Barak Mwan Faruk Musa Dosara Pili Pili Barak Mtu Nasu Akiku Pili Pili Gumi Wan Abdul Nasir Ibrahim Pili Pili Gumi Tu Mansur Muhammad Pili Pili Buku Yunof Ibrahim Muhammad Naida Pili Pili Buku Yunof Sanda Hiru Pili Pili The Commission will issue certificates of return to the new winners as follows Governor and Deputy Governor elect, Senators elect, and members of the House of Representatives elect will receive their certificates on Monday, 27th May 2019, at the Commission's electoral.